what is going on guys it's cyberhorn 92 here welcome to the channel you're new subscribe if you haven't turn on that bell notification like the video once you turn on that bell notification you'll be part of the future so today we're going to be talking about top five things you might not know about me yes i'm going to talk about about myself like not that many people know about me some probably will some don't so i would like to ha be happy to share my story with you guys you guys deserve it and let's get started into the video Number one, being shy around girls. Yes, I am really shy around girls. I can talk to any nationality except for white girls for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I can talk to like some white girls, but I cannot talk to like the good looking one. I'm not saying like all girls are bad, but like the one that are my type of blonde hair, I guess. So I don't know. So I can still talk to them, but it would just help me um, take time to get to know them. So I feel comfortable around them, so. That's why I am sorry about being like a shy person because that's who I am <laughs> and I really like white girls too. <laughs> Number two, I have good collateral. That is true. Yes, um, literally almost every single day, I always go to like restaurants to the buffet almost every single day, and literally it didn't affect me. So I've been doing this like for the past three years, I think, somewhere around there. But yeah, sorry about being a spoiled person and like. Literally, if you go around me, and like sometimes I usually get hungry when I go to like fast food like McDonald's, I usually order like two Big Mac or McFlurry chicken nugget with fries. I know that's a, like a lot of crazy stuff, but like literally end of the day, it just like go back to normal. Like I don't gain a single pound. I'm not dead. Like people say, why you're not dead? It's actually kind of funny. Um, so that's that. <laughs> Number three, a cup stacking, speed stack. Yes, those are my favorites since third grade. That's why I got into the competitive scene. Then after that, a couple years later, hit middle school, have speed stack from PE class, got into it, and somehow I destroyed everyone like a beast. So that's actually kind of crazy. And then after that, I've been like doing a lot of research who was the fastest speed stacking. During that time, I think this kid named Steven Pernurigan, he was super good, like, he'd been breaking so many records, cause, he, he, cause he's a legend, so that's that, but sadly someone broke his record, but he's still in the top three, so that's why he inspired me, so I haven't been playing speed stack for a long time. Number four, I have learning disabilities since middle school to high school. Yes, um, basically I have learning disability that I'm a slow thinker. I don't remember anything that I learned. So basically it is called IEP for school. It is mean individual education program. So I'm gonna try to break this down as much as possible. So from whoever who have this disability problem will understand. Um, if none of you guys don't understand, it's okay. So from there, uh, I have like trouble like remembering like history or English. Like my grammar really bad. That's why. So they help me like guide through like good success in school. So that was actually really nice of them. Meaning that like. When everyone taking their test, I still take the test, but like I'm go, I go to a different room, and I get to use my notes. No one are 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 not allowed to use um the notes besides disability. So that was actually kind of special to me, cause um to help pass my class. So that was actually really nice. And the cool thing about that, um, so like there like an example that if there's like a um, multiple choice like A through D. I have only three options, A, B, or C, so the teacher got rid of one of the letters, so that's, that was actually really nice of them. I get extra time than anyone else, like an, an extra hour, so that's actually really nice and extended. Um, I also get to use my notes, so that's actually pretty good, so I like to say thanks. Um, I'm so happy that my IEP combination will let me use my notes, so if I have good notes, I will ace the test, so... There's literally no way I cannot fail, so that's sad. Sorry about, um, I'm being a spoiled person. And if any of you guys, um, know about this while you're watching, um, you can unfriend me on social media if you want. Because I feel like I'm 
a spoiled person like that I feel bad compared to everyone else that don't have this opportunity just like me. So that's that. Number five, this is the very last one. I'm still new to life. Yes, I don't know. I'm still new. Like for example, I never been to IKEA before. I never been to IHOP. I never like try new things that I never tried before. Um, so I'm still debating. Um, trying to do that one day. Like try to try new stuff I never done before. I'm like literally still new to vocabulary words when. Everyone talk about vocabulary words. I have no idea what does it means besides I have to look it up So I wish I knew like every single one of them, but like there's too many of them and the funny thing uh, since Since seventh grade, I didn't know a girl was hitting me because my friend told me since then I've been doing research So I wish I knew during that time, but I wasn't thinking straight during that time. I was just like a nerd that just like don't even care about school besides hanging out with friends uh and the funny thing um since junior year i didn't know porn during that time so it's actually kind of funny because people say hey do you know what's porn and i say no i, I thought it was like corn and cob or or some random word that they um made up but like it's actually a real word so i actually know porn during junior year i know that sound kind of crazy i was supposed to notice like maybe like in middle school i guess but yeah i'm a slow um development learner so i'm still new to life i'm trying to like learn as much as possible like everyone else but it's like it's way too hard to keep track during these day so that's that if any of you guys watch to if any of you guys watch this video to the very end would like to say thank you that means a lot to me don't forget to drop a like if you haven't Turn on that bell notification to be part of the future. Subscribe. Share this video to your friends, family, your cousin. And yeah, this is Cyberhorn92. It's signing out. Peace.